Here's Sibby, and I just wanted to show you, um, she has what's called a blown coat. And her last heat cycle, what happened was, she, um, she just lost all of her coat at one time. So, that meant that I had to, um, pull a bunch of it out her neck. I actually had to go almost all the way down to, to skin. That's just her undercoat there, showing. And even though you might not have a dog that's intact, um, they can still go through hormonal changes, and this can happen. So, um, I just wanted to kind of give you a show of that. A lot of people want to get girls, girl cairns, and they think they want to show them. Um, but this is one of the things you're, you're fighting with with girl cairns in the show ring, is um, that their coat just um, all of a sudden falls apart no matter how much you've kept up on it. Okay, so what we're gonna work on with Sib is just getting out, I mean, since her coat is all blown, um, I pulled a lot of the outer coat down to pretty much nothing. Um, I do need to pull her down again, but um, at this point now I'm working on getting the undercoat out um, just to start getting it more healthy in appearance because um, once that fluffy undercoat shows underneath, it, it looks kind of makes it look dull. So um, I brush her really good with the pin brush, like I showed in that other video of, of Munch. And then I like this stripping knife. Um, it's the McCollin, and it is um, the fine. And then I just go down and comb her. Comb her gently, though, not to go through to the skin, and pull that undercoat out. And you could probably do this with a flea comb, too. Um, you want to do something with really close, um, close teeth to pull that undercoat out. And then in the meantime, you just wait for it to grow back, wait for coat to grow in, new coat. As we work on the undercoat with this stripping knife, you can see it feels really good. She really leans into that. Just to get that dense undercoat out, especially this time of year, get, that will help to get some more air circulating against her skin. And when you're working with a stripping knife like this, um, you just want to be careful that you're not going down all the way to the skin um, because these little blades could cut, or these little teeth could cut their skin. So I just do it pretty softly. And she has all kinds of fluffy stuff coming out. It's just like bunny fur. thing when you're dealing with a coat that's um, dyed and you're trying to um, refurbish it's really tempting to take out all these scraggly hairs because you know that they're dead but um, if you do that then what happens is you have all the same length when they're growing back in so you just have to look at this for a little while um, the last time I stripped her was probably about a month ago and I took out a br pretty pretty large percentage of, of, of her coat but I did leave it um, on on the sides because this is what grows slower so this grows faster this is all this is all pretty much for the most part new coat that's a stripe down her back um, your dog grows all dogs grow in their hair really um, full right here in this rough and then it grows slower in their sides and so that's why I have this scraggly hair that I've left here in the sides so that I can take that out as new hair starts to come in. Also, as you take the undercoat out of um, of a coat like this that's dead, with the new hair growing in, you can see as I've worked on her, the poofiness kind of goes away, and so she starts to look a little bit more sleek, and that shows off her um, the new hair that's coming in. So hopefully, in about another two weeks, she's going to start looking a little bit better, not so patchy. Also, you can see on Sibby, she has a lot of dead skin that's coming off when I brush her. 
Um, and so now what I'll do is I will cover her with conditioner. It's a leave-in conditioner. And so um, after I brush her really good and work on undercoat coming out, then I just put a leave-in conditioner in. It's called Panagenics. That's what I use, Panagenics. And I'll just rub that in and that will moisturize her skin. It's also an all-natural product. Um, doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it. And so it just moisturizes, and that's definitely what she needs. This is the Panagenics shampoo that I use. It's low sudsing. You um, actually put it right into their coat when it's dry, and then you just um, rinse it out. And it's really um, moisturizing. This is the citrus and aloe that I put in this um, leave-in conditioner. And you, you have to wait until the coat completely dries, and then you rub this in, and that moisturizes um, her flaky skin that we have going on.